The whole point at the beginning was to actually lag a couple of days, but I wasn't really feeling it. End goal of all of this is to have almost 300 days now without washing my hair with shampoo. Yes, I swear. For the past eight years, I've been making it every day to try and grow and make money. Good morning. If it's not Jerry, the juicy George. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if it isn't Jerry, the juicy Georgius, my gorgeous, gym rat. Hello, good morning. Uh, well, it's Monday right now. And oh my, am I lucky that I just had the weekend because if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I recorded a segment on Friday where I was like reacting to, I think just maybe just go and watch it. Um, rather than me going over it now, but I'm glad I had the time to be able to look back on something I did and decide actually that isn't the thing I want to do. Which makes it really interesting about these videos. Like, cause I just speak whatever my thoughts are. There's no like filter. There's the only time I get to have a second look at them is when I edit tomorrow morning. It makes it quite interesting, doesn't it? Uh, like, should I actually lag a couple of days so I have a few days to think about what I said in case I didn't say the right thing? I don't know. I don't think I should do that. Maybe I need to think a bit more about the things that I'm doing. That's quite cryptic, so I'll give a high level so you don't have to watch yesterday's. I watched Casey Neistat and the, the Diary of a CEO. I can't remember the guy's name. His interview and his essentially just interviewing Casey about his life. And Casey was sharing his experience growing up, what led him to where he is now. And I was sharing my perception of him and how he is with his family and whatnot. And it was just like a weird psychoanalysis that I'm nobody. And if Casey wasn't the strong character that he is, then he may consider what I'm saying and you know, second guess everything that he's been doing. And that's not right for that to come from me, right? Goodness me. All right, for today, what I was thinking. I would like to get one more video done before my parents get here, which leads me today and tomorrow. And I've noticed a couple of comments coming through recently that from my gum videos, like the how long does the flavor last? People are saying that they last a lot longer than the result that I got, which surely means that my taste buds are off. So I'm thinking the video is to redo the test, but also find a way to test if the flavor's still there or not. Like, I don't know if, you know, drinking orange juice for certain periods after chewing the gum is a good thing to do a good way to test if the flavor is still there. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna research it. Like simple ways to test flavor in something, I don't know. And then maybe make like plan out and make the video today. I think we can do that all in one day. Pretty, pretty simple. I think we should do that. Yeah, all right, let's go and do that. Are you on? All right, you juicy goose. Can you believe I've been almost 300 days now without washing my hair with shampoo? Just a slight side note, but... I wash it every single day without water after I work out, and yes, I sweat, I even work out wearing a hoodie the whole time. It's amazing. I'm not also against using shampoo. Uh, I mean, it's nice to do healthy things. This is a TikTok series that I've been going on for just about 300 days. I think I've done three or four videos, maybe even five. And the whole point at the beginning was to, one, just see what happens. And the end goal of all of this is to have a brand that are willing to pay, I'll be straight up, willing to pay the big bucks to be like at 365 days. So at one year, let's see if, 
your hair feels any different before that wash having not used shampoo for a year and then any different after that wash. So far, we've got zero brands on the hook for that. But I would really like to get some huge brand to partner for that. That would be amazing. Because, yeah, I, I don't care to not use shampoo or to use shampoo. Okay, I thought I'd just share a few things. Like, I said that I was going to, it's now three o'clock, by the way. I said I was going to maybe do another chewing gum video, but I wasn't really feeling it. And which just got me thinking right now, I have loads of topics to go through, but just got me thinking right now. Yeah, but where's your discipline, your dedication to getting things done? I'm not, I'm not here to pump out two, three videos a week that has to go out at this time just because like, I'm not, I don't want to do this for a, for a job, right? Like as a, a business, I want to just be able to make videos. Yeah. We all get that that's a very privileged position to be in, right? Um, but that's the way I want to do things. I want to do it out of enjoyment and not push it to feel like a job. That's where I've, I've gotten myself to this possession, position to be able to do that. So, but I understand like for the past eight years, I've been making it every day to try and grow and make money. So what have I been doing? I've been figuring out stuff for this social automations piece, which is great. And was, we're really starting to see some good things. So I have some good, some good information here that's really interesting actually to learn out of this, but also had tons of difficulties. Um, I won't list, I won't, I won't go through all of them because it's kind of silly, but making clips. I initially had this set up that I would just put all this into a AI editor, it would take out the clips, do everything I needed to, and then I could just upload them. No. Uh, so then I paid an editor to do them, and that didn't work out fantastically. I mean, they could still do them, but I've migrated slightly into the type of videos I want to be doing, which are more like, I guess, meme type things, which is taking up a lot more time than I foresaw this social automations piece doing. Like I'm having fun with it. I'm enjoying making the edits. They're just quite time consuming. I would really like to get to a point where I could pay someone else to take on that as like a more consistent thing. But for the time being, like I'm enjoying doing it. I just would like to do it, you know, just the videos that I kind of want to do versus having to do more because I need more to be able to post. Which then leads me on to, I previously had the automation running. So the automation would grab a file from a Google Drive folder, post it to each of the three social media accounts on each channel. So TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. And it would run at 10 a.m. and every two hours after that through till midnight. So what's that? Eight times a day? 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Seven times a day. And every now and again it would work, but I think I found that actually that runs too often for TikTok and it feels a bit um, spammy because like at a point every newly uploaded video just doesn't get any views. So I tore that down and we're now only running every four hours. So 10, 2, 6, 10. And that seems to be working quite well. And we found out, I've only just changed that. I changed that Friday, I think. Yeah, I changed it Friday. TikTok has gone up in views a lot. We were previously getting like, I don't know, just random numbers. None of it made sense, maxing out at 300 each time. But with small edits in there of adding text captions, adding in a caption at the top, like I'll just show you here. So I've deleted all the ones that didn't get any traction. And you see the recent ones. So that's 405, 644. Same again on the other accounts. One of the TikTok accounts is going dud. I don't know, it's just not posting at the right times, everything just not working. But here's the, uh, we're about to get overtaken by fan accounts. 
the number of subscribers on fan accounts are about to supersede the number of subscribers I actually have on my account. I'll just share my screen here, start recording. So this is obviously my main account. I accidentally deleted this mate this video here. Uh, I meant to delete something else. I accidentally deleted that one, so I've just uploaded it. A couple of views in there, which is nice. And then if I go to switch accounts, switch account, we have the shorts account, which is at 43 subs, the daily account 20 clips at 40 subs. And I think the daily account has like 20,000 total views, but the shorts and the clips account, like this one, 42 and a half thousand views. The other one's more. Oh, it's 65 and a half thousand views. But people seem to be finding, finding it kind of funny. So I think it's going well. I think this is the way I go with it. And it's more fun than just cutting out random clips. I want to I want to have this be funnier. So some things we're waiting on. I'm waiting for CapCut to accept me as a template creator, and then I can create lots of the I can move lots of the things that I have into CapCut and start building out the templates. What else was there? What's on my list? My pub blog quickie. Um, I think those are all my notes for this that I'm doing. I still need to figure out the right um, method at which I store all of the files, the templates, how all of that works. I think once I get in the, the template program, I can save everything as a template in CapCut and then just save all my other files off somewhere else. I think that's the move. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, I thought, let me share my screen here. You know what I meant, I mentioned this morning, like why would I, for the chewing gum, how would I be able to test that the flavor still exists? So in ChatGPT, I'm, testing how long the flavor in gum lasts in, I don't know, mint chewing gum, just to make sure it's not choosing some other kind of gum. And I want an easy way to test if there is still flavor in my mouth. What kind of easy at home tests could I do? Let's see, shall we? So we've got time, yep. I'm thinking like drinking orange juice or something along those lines. Ah, yes, like reset. Interesting, aroma strips. I quite like the idea of a palate cleanser and then an aroma strip. Let's go to Amazon and see if aroma strips are a viable thing. They are perfume strips. If you're able to get aroma strips, like the ones using my you can breathe out while chewing the gum onto the strip and then smell it to assess the strength of the mint aroma over time. Hmm. I think that might be the go-to. 
That might be the go too. So if I get some of those. Cool. Um, I had some other things. I flew through those quite quickly. Something else creative I wanted to do. Give me a second, I'll think of it. Yo, I thought I'd do this section as like a do a like a weird podcast section, except there's no screen. Uh, I'm walking the dogs. It's too hard to carry a camera last time, and there were kind of some things I wanted to talk through. Some thoughts I had. So, hope you don't mind the screen being black. Maybe I'll just put on a nice photo of me. <laughs> just like an old PowerPoint slideshow presentation. Oh, this feels very different. Uh, without a camera looking at you and just speaking and being recorded. That's, this is funny. Interesting. All right, let's get into some of these topics I have. If you hear me cussing and swearing at this dog, just know that it is an idiot. All right, here we go. Um, what if his... So I just throw ideas down in my notes when I have them. What if we remove the need for success and just do something because we had the urge? No expectations, no right or wrong, just it. Oh yeah, that was quite a good. Uh, what if, yeah, you were just making something and forget that there was ever a way you could see that someone liked it or disliked it? Like, you silly chimp sounding dog. Get up here, you muggo. That's enough. Listen to it, it's even worse now. Lila. Oh my gosh, it's like an accordion as it's under my armpit. That's enough. Hey, are you done? Good girl. I'm just, I'm I've like half given up on teaching her at the moment. And dude, I was about to drop a Richard the Third. So that's, that's sweet. Please say I have enough bags, I do. I'm normally pretty good at remembering bags, actually. Right, because that's the information you came here for. That's the type of podcast stuff you were lo- looking for, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, what, what if it came down to just making something and there's no expectation of people do or don't like it? Or like, let's say, let's say you created on the scenario that you thought everyone who watched this was going to enjoy it. And it didn't matter the outcome because that was the only outcome. What if you had that mindset to work on something? I mean, you see, you see it all the time on social media. Someone who comes in who does something differently, does something abstract, ends up doing very well. Dude, come on. Like, uh, there's this kid on TikTok who, I don't know, some European country, Germany or something. He's uh, some kind of carpenter, builder, or like painter or something. And he just started doing like crazy breakdancing while he was at work, like in this places that he was doing up. And then, of course, he got big enough that he probably had to, (laughs) he was good with quitting that job paid tons of money in sponsorships and just became like a dancer but that kind of lost I think that took away some of the flair unless he's still doing really well in followers and I just haven't seen him in a long time I think his name's Geo could just look it up couldn't I oh that is rancid I've just put the dog's uh, bag in my pocket let's find him on Tiki the Talkie uh, I've just searched TikTok into TikTok. Geo. That ain't the dude. Who the hell is that? Uh, yeah, well, that's all I had to go on, so. <laughs> yeah, so then you get the outliers like that that people just crawl on top of because it's so different. So, like we, we think, oh, well, not we think. Yeah, so many, so much of people's content on social media is just a, another copy, just in different niches, right? And just with their voice behind it. But it's also very similar. 
and it's hard to imagine that there's there are other ways to do something now like let's say for example this vlogging style uh i feel like sam sulik has to be the guy that yeah i don't know if you'd call it pioneered but like he was the first one to start just like turning a camera on hitting record and then the end of the scene is when it's cut I don't know if he does that actually I think he still cuts in between scenes doesn't he well I guess I do too I just don't no I don't what am I talking about you know what I mean like mine's a start and a stop clip as opposed to like like I wouldn't work at my desk for 30 minutes and that's cut up into three or four clips that's just one clip oh we've got the other one I'm dropping a Richard the third now and this little idiot dog swings around and steps in it. Oh, mate, you are so stupid. You are such a stupid dog. And now you're half tied up in Duda's lead. I wonder why they... Why they decide to keep you at birth, either. <laughs> what was the reason for that? They ah, oh, someone will take this one for... Maybe she was the actual runt, because she was super cheap for a cockapoo. So, maybe that's it. Maybe you are the runt, and you are actually just dense. Okay, sorry, back to the topic. Yeah, how do you just create a new genre? Like, I try not to watch other people for in, uh, inspiration to do the same thing. I'd rather just do the thing that comes to mind. But then you can go the other way on that and say, well, if you're not consuming other people's ways of doing things, like small flares that one person does, you know, and you merge that with a couple of other things that you've picked up from looking around. Like, it's not a copy, but it's inspired by... And then what would we be able to create? What would a, a flow look like? Like... Just trying to think of a ridiculously out there type of video. I don't know, that maybe someone takes their whole conversation from each day and creates one or two sentences or like a short story out of the individual words so that each word is never used twice and those words can create a new story that would be a sweet come on, Tito. piece of AI I mean no one would ever really get to know who you are because it wouldn't make I guess it would be hideous to watch but like each thing's each thing is just like a frame, isn't it? Like as each, because of how quick each word goes past. Yeah, you just have single frames. That'd be horrible to watch. But I'm sure there's a market for that as like a podcast of like the chopping and changing in tone and, sorry, the drastic uh, dropping changes in like tone. Sorry, the dog's just walked in the office and the lamppost. That's kind of an idea. I guess my mind always goes to then, like building out the AI to do that. That's a lot of work for a one-time thing. Is it even worth it? Come on, Duda. Like when you could pick other ideas that you'd find enjoyable. Like that's the way I think through it. What is going on with you lot? I'll get to the next thought, but Doodah's having another one. Lily, and you've just... You've almost stuck your head under her ass. What the hell? Doodah. I think that if I tell a vet that story, I think they immediately say that dog has lost the plot. Or never had the plot to begin with. And you're like, oh yeah, that's enough. That's what we need. That's what we needed to know. Alright, next topic coming right up just as soon 
as I've shoved another bag of poop into my pocket. I do feel this is kind of a... It's a very different feel to this. Just like audio, isn't it, versus the camera. Wow, we, Dude, I come. I'm heavily laden on one side of my jacket from the... Yes. All right, next topic. What are we looking at? Come on, Oliver. Pod vlog quickie. Here we are. Um, yeah. I know it seems like it's a very common thing for people to struggle with taking on a huge task. Like, let's say writing a book. Uh, I forget what. I think it was in with Ali Abdal and Diary in the Life of a CEO. I watched one of the others when I found this podcast from the KC uh, section. Anyway. Um, so, create a template for breaking down a task into manageable pieces to avoid procrastination and fear of starting. That's my note I've left. <laughs> and I think... What I was thinking is because I, in software engineering, or the methodology we would always use, Scrum, uh, sorry, Agile, and then the framework that we would specialize in was Scrum. Where the hell was I going with that? Oh yeah, and you would write stories for each sprint. So you would work over a two week period and a story was basically like a piece of work that someone who's going to do the work that week would pick up one of these cards and be like, yep, I'm going to take on that one. Like, that's, that's a very loose way to put it, to explain it. Oh, am I out of breath? Um, and to write those pieces of work, they're called stories, you need to ask a lot of questions to break them down into what you would call manageable sized pieces of work so that the person can actually work it within that two-week period. And the benefit of doing that helps... Uh, get further into an understanding of the work that needs to be done. So there's a structure, oh, I can't remember it, but at least I know of it. There's a structure that we used to use to ask questions that would help us break it down into smaller chunks. I'm sure it's one of those things that once I read it once, it'll all come back to me. But I thought that would be quite a good might be quite a helpful tool to break something down because when you're looking at something like, a, like writing a book and needing to be on the New York Best Times seller list or whatever it's called, New York, New York Times bestseller list, <laughs> then that's a monumental task. How the hell are you going to get started on that? Whereas if you're like, okay, well, what is my general plot to the story? What's my intro you know break it down into smaller pieces who are my characters that i need to develop what are their flaws what are their strengths and you know into really small pieces until eventually it becomes this much larger fleshed out thing for you to work on or that you have been working on oh you dumb dog okay well I am going to call it there. I don't know what you thought of this section. Especially if you enjoyed looking at my face, you weirdo. But if you... Yeah, I quite like the audio aspect of it. The dogs are going nuts. Well, that's a bit frustrating because you can't see anything, can you? You're like, how nuts are they going? Like, wow, really, really nuts. You just had to be there. <laughs> hey. All right, cool. Yeah, well, thank you for listening. See you in the next one.